for the love of God. OK, come on, let's have it. For six decades, one character has graced our television screens. The biggest icon in Coronation Street of all time is Ken Barlow. I don't think that there's a person in Britain who doesn't know who Ken Barlow is. Well, thanks very much for the character reference. Over the years, actor William Roach and his alter ego, Ken, have given us countless moments of high drama and classic comedy. Ken Barlow is not for sale. He just makes it so natural. When you watch him, it is like a masterclass. Would you give me a few lessons in speaking French? Oh, go on. He's unique, isn't he? Tonight, gosh, we look back at an extraordinary lifetime on the street. And I'm proud of where I come from. And enjoy all of Ken Barlow's biggest hits. <laughs> He's the centre of the show. And it's amazing the energy that he still brings to it. Oh, Ken. He is Corrie, isn't he? Coronation Street! <laughs> My name is Ken and I'm livid. Today, Ken Barlow is the head of one of the most famous and formidable families in Britain. When are you going to stop wrecking people's lives? You don't mess with the Barlows, because if you mess with one, you mess with all of them. Pull yourself together. Ken is the linchpin of the Barlow family. Dad! Get in the car. Now, now, get in the car. He's like the godfather of, of the whole, you know, this family. I had my doubts about all four of you. So what does that say? Hmm? I think he sees himself as a sort of sopranos type character, a lot of upward collars and looking down at people. We're like a little mafia family. Ken, you must have known that I would come. And I quite like that. If anyone attacked us, I've got the Rottweiler to set on them in Tracy. We've got some good, strong males. Peter, please! I love that. I really love it. That's, that's really part of the backbone of Ken's life. It was back on the very first episode of Coronation Street on the 9th of December, 1960, when we caught our first glimpse of Barlow family life. We actually did it live, so I really do remember uh, that first episode very well. It was setting the scene of Ken, university student, at the table with his working class father. And Ken was appearing to be a bit of a snob. What's up? Nothing. But that's new to expression for them. Well, what's new to expression? Coined as a new kitchen sink drama, Coronation Street depicted the everyday lives of residents in a northern street. Uh, you all right for tonight? We were aware that it was a bit different, but the sensation was the ratings. The minute we hit the screen, whoomp. 28-year-old William Roach suddenly found himself thrust into the spotlight. We were almost instant celebrities because we were the cutting edge drama and we felt like a little community, almost like a family. Fat lot of you shoe are, Minnie Caldwell. You couldn't find an elephant in a telephone box. Violet Carson, who played Ina Sharples, she was a well-known personality. For the rest of us, it was something completely new. Violet, she was lovely, very fair-minded, but you didn't mess with her. <laughs> it was a bit of that in the character that she played. Don't like being taken for a ride, that's all. Nobody's taking you for and a ride. And just because you speak with a lace curtain accent, I've got to... William's character, Ken, could also be a force to be reckoned with. Ken Barlow was the angry young man who's going to get out of here. There's not wrong, you know, and be loyal to your own class. Oh, Dad, for heaven's sake, as if I'm not. He was a firebrand and he was the intellectual. I wrote a serious article for a serious magazine about something I believed in. He was rebellious, he was handsome, he was sexy, and he was a womanizer. So, of course, Ken Barlow had everything. To keep Ken wedded to the street, producers paired him up with Albert's niece, Valerie Tatlock, played by Anne Reid. Oh, well, you two don't know each other, do you? This is Valerie, my niece. This is Kenneth Barlow. He lives next door. Hello. Hello. Working with Anne Reid was a, a delight. I think our relationship on screen had the right chemistry. Come on, give us a kiss. I remember she, she sometimes used to give me notes. <laughs> she, um, but she was lovely with it. 